Hello guys, from this video I will be starting a new video series on using MySQL database with your Visual Basic Windows Form application. So if you don't know uh, how to install Visual Studio in your Windows uh, system, just go to your uh, search engine and just type Visual Studio Express. Visual Studio Express is a uh, free edition for visual studio and you will be able to use it for making your visual basic project now for understanding and if you don't uh, know how to install and use mysql database i have uh, made these videos in a playlist earlier by the name a mysql tutorial for beginners so in the first few video you will be able to understand how you can install a mysql database and how you can create queries and how to handle other clauses and queries now for using visual basic with mysql you need to install mysql with uh, some uh, specification so if you see this so first video which is beginner mysql database tutorial 1 in this video at the point uh, exactly at 5 minute 38 seconds i have shown you uh, this installation and in this at this point uh, at the minute 5.38 this check requirement steps comes when you install a mysql database and in here you need to uh, see whether your uh, mysql installer is giving these options basically you need to check all the options in order to um, enable uh, drivers for visual studio and uh, mysql so just check all the microsoft related uh, options in this check requirement when you are installing mysql database okay now if you have, if you have uh, done that already let's start a new project and let's see how you can connect visuals basic with your windows mysql database i beg your pardon so just go to just fire up your uh, visual studio and go to this uh, file menu here and just select new project and it will open uh, this new project wizard you need to just select visual basic from here and just uh, select windows form application we are going to make our application using this windows app form application now you can give your project name i'm giving my project name is as dv db project one for example and i will click ok and if you want to save your project at some specified location just click this browse button and just select the folder in which you want to save this project okay and just click okay this will create a simple visual basic project for you which is a blank form and now first we need to connect mysql database with your visual basic so what you need to do is here you will be able to see your project in a solution explorer you need to go to your project and right click your project and just select the option which says add reference just select this option add reference and this will open a wizard for add reference you need to go to this dot net tab in here so just select dot net tab and search for the option called mysql dot data 
so i'm searching for this option mysql dot data okay just select it and click ok and what this will do is this will add mysql dot data dll resource in your visual basic project and using this uh, mysql dot data you will be able to connect to the mysql using your visual basic once you have done that we are going to go to the source code of this uh, visual basic form so for this video i'm going to show you how to connect uh, with your mysql using visual basic so what i'm going to do is i will take this simple button and i will change it text as check connection okay and let me change the font size also go to the properties of this button just select this button and go to the properties and change the font size from here so i'm choosing this bold and 18 so you will be able to see this button content now i will just select this button and double click it and it will open the code for this button click event for check connection in here what i need to do is i need to go at the top first before this public class form one above this i need to import my mysql connection so i will say imports mysql dot data dot mysql client okay once you have imported this uh, to your form what next you need to do is just go to this uh, class in inside this class just below be, below this public class form one i'm going to declare mysql connection client so i will say dim mysql connection as my sql connection and this uh, connection we are going to use this variable to connect to our database so this is a class uh, which in this mysql.data library and using this class we are going to connect to our database okay now once again inside this button click event which we have just double click this button and in here we need to declare a new connection to check to our database so just inside this um, button click event what i will do is i will just copy my mysql con variable is equal to new mysql connection i will search for the mysql connection once again okay so what this will do is it will create a new instance of this class for connecting to the database now if you have already watched the first few videos of my mysql database tutorial you would know how to create a sample database using uh, your uh, mysql and how to create how to use this mysql workbench so i have already created uh, this database uh, in mysql and my database name is database itself and i have one table inside my database called edata and this database contains some data 
for example id name surname age username password gender date of birth and other columns so what i'm going to do is i'm going to check or i'm going to connect my visual basic project to this database and check if uh, i can connect the, to this database or not okay so in here after these two lines in the next line what i will do is i will prepare a connection string to connect to my sql database so just i will just copy and paste this code to you and explain what this code means so what i have done here is i have taken this mysql instance from here and dot connection string and this connection string i have given in order to connect to the database so just write mysql con which is your mysql variable when mysql connection object variable and just write mysql con dot connection string is equal to and in double quotes just write server is equal to localhost why server is equal to, to localhost when you go to your uh, mysql uh, workbench and if you have seen my videos when you click this database tab from here and click query database you will be able to see my host name is 127.0.0.1 which is a local host if you are using your database on some server ip just replace this local host by the ip of your mysql server okay so this local host is this ip now the second is the user id of mysql okay so just write in the double quote server is equal to localhost then give semicolon then give user id is equal to whatever your user id in my case the user id is root you will be able to see here username is equal to root right so user id is equal to root semicolon the password you have already defined to to um, with this user id when you were installing mysql database just give the mysql database password here okay in my case this password is root semicolon the database you want to connect to so in my case the database name is database itself you can see here right so the database name is database so i have written here database is equal to database this is the name of the database so basically you need to write this code in order to connect to your mysql server right now in the next line what i am going to do is i am going to write a try catch block so just write try catch ex which is exception as exception and end your try and instead of this standard exception i'm going to use my sql exception okay so what this try catch block will do is if uh, there is any exception or error occurs during the connection to the database this exception will be caught by this try catch block and in here in the catch block i am going to write a um, message box in which i am going to show the error message okay 
so in here I will write ex dot message okay so it will catch any exception whenever you your code is not able to connect to the database now in this try block what I will do is I will open the connection to the database so I will just copy this mysql con from here and inside this I will paste this mysql con dot open okay and then once your connection is open I'm going to say in the message box that I am already connected to the database so I will write in the message box a message connection successful okay and whenever you open the connection you need to close the connection after the execution of the code so just copy this um, mysql con once again dot not like this but dot close okay now once you have uh, created this object you need to dis dispose this also so what you need to do is just go above this uh, end try block and right here finally and in here just copy this mysql con and just write dot dispose okay so i think that's it that's all the code we need to connect to the mysql database i'm going to run my program and check whether i am able to connect to the database so when i click this button if i see this uh, connection successful then i know that i am connected to the database so let's see check connection and it says connection successful now for example i give the wrong local host or wrong user id for example i change the user id which is not the actual user id so in this case it should uh, give this exception and it should catch this try catch block will uh, catch the exception and my uh, code will not say connection successful so when i run this program and when i once again say check connection it throws me in an exception and it says that access denied for the user rot rot which is not the actual username right and once again when i provide the actual username which is root and once again when i run the program and check connection this time connection successful so i know that i'm connected to the database using these uh, credentials and if i provide some wrong credentials then i am um, or i get the exception and error message so in this way you can connect your visual basic project to the mysql database in the future video i will also show you or i will develop a simple project step by step and i will show you how to create a login page and how to connect your database with the table with the list box with the combo box and many other things so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now